previously on Hell's Kitchen All-Stars. What chef would you like to cook against? Barbie. Robin picked me because she thinks she can beat me. Chef Ramsay challenged the All-Stars to face off. That was so weak. In an international pizza challenge. Grace, it is. I can work with this. Let's go. Get out of my way. After enduring some tight cooking quarters. Excuse me. I can't get it off. Elise, what? Move, Elise. It's a wrap. At judging, Barbie made Robin regret her decision. Thanks, Robin. Nick evened up the score before the final round. All right, ready to go. It all came down to Michelle versus Giovanni. The Italian king around here. But the decision turned out to be an easy one. Wow. Gio, every slice was bad. <laughs> At Italian night in Hell's Kitchen. <laughs> Are you okay? okay? Sure. Yeah. Michelle's only slip of the night. Did you save the lamb? Yes, sir. Had nothing to do with her cooking. Michelle. Yes, sir. Beautifully cooked. Thank you, sir. As she led the red team to a strong service. This meat is yummy. Good job, ladies. In the blue kitchen, Giovanni and Benjamin served raw lamb. What's happened to you guys? Robin overcooked the fish. Oh, man. What has happened to my all stars? And Jared claimed injury. Can I get a medic? When he struggled on garnish. He's got a bigger cut on the end of his You're calling a medic because you're crashing it and burning. Get out! They nominated. Jared. And? Robin. While Robin tried to jump ship. I would like to go back to the red team, Chef. How can you say you want to go back to the red team? You're part of the blue team. We're a team. Chef Ramsay made her stay put. Get back in line. And eliminated. Jared, take off your jackets. Ending his dream of becoming the head chef at Gordon Ramsay's Hell's Kitchen restaurant at Caesars Palace in Las Vegas. And now, the continuation of Hell's Kitchen All Stars. Get out of it. I was f up. You good? Yeah, I'm good. Hey, sometimes you gotta shut the f up. Yeah, I know. I hope the blue team doesn't feel betrayed. I think some of them are hurt, but Chef Ramsay asked me a question. Am I supposed to lie? I'm not gonna lie. Thank you. What? Just saying that. Thank you. What? I, mean, I don't I, wanna be on our team, though. I just do said. wanna be on your team, guys. Don't, don't even start with that, because it's not, even, it's not even worth it. I wanna be on the team. I just want us to communicate and not fight. That's it. Yeah, there's no point in talking about it. It's not worth my breath. I think Robin talks too much. She is kind of self-sabotaging. She needs to just learn when to shut up, and she really doesn't have any other choice right now. You shouldn't say that out loud. I'll be honest with you. I know, I shouldn't have said that. It's all right for you to think it. You should never say that out loud. But from the moment you were coming to the blue team, we took you in. Open it's arms. What I need to do so I'm not on the chopping block again, I just need to keep my mouth shut and speak when I'm spoken to. My life. With a clear lack of harmony on the blue team, the chefs must put their negativity to the side so that it doesn't affect their performance in Chef Ramsay's next challenge. Good morning. Good morning, morning chef. chef. Now, underneath these six domes is your next challenge. Let's begin. First off, one of the most renowned dishes ever in the history of this competition, a beef wellington. Beef wellington. Like, what's going on right now, chef? What are you doing to us? Next one. Salmon. Salmon. Moving on. Halibut. What? Rack of lamb. From the menu, from the menu, from the, it's our menu. Next, duck breast. Double bone pork chop. You know this, right? Yes, yes chef. chef. I am so determined to have a perfect service that I've designed this brand new challenge to test your skills. You'll be cooking these six entrees in your kitchens. Prove how well you know this menu, the team that comes up with the most accurate and the best versions of these six entrees wins the challenge. We are all stars. Everyone here is all stars. We all know this menu. There are no excuses right now. I'm backing off. You will decide on how to organize your kitchen. You should all have a clear understanding of what your teammates are doing at all times. Is that clear? Yes, yes chef. Your 25 minutes. Start now. I'll Let's take go. A 
I'll take fish. You get on fish, let I'm Robin back you up. Me and you get on garnish, garnish. go two on meat. Get the pork chop on. Me and Jennifer should all start on prep for garnish. Get that lamb down. Wellington needs to go in. In today's challenge, both teams have 25 minutes to prepare six flawless entrees from the current Hell's Kitchen menu. All right, I'm going to poach some eggs then, no? Yes, please. This challenge could not get any easier. All we got to do is cook a six top with our menu items that we already know and we've already cooked a hundred times. It's our entrees. Fork is dropped. Guys, keep talking. What do we got going on? All right, let's start the lamb. Right, red team, blue team, listen up. Now that you've laid your foundations down, decide which member from each team gets kicked out. Gets what? kicked out? Now that you've laid your foundations down, decide which member from each team gets kicked out. Gets what? kicked out. Hurry up. Somebody decide now. Uh, Dana, what are you doing? Just cooking the pork chop? Sure, and I'm getting the garnish ready for the salmon. Red team, who is it? Barbie, you're out. Barbie's I'm not out. leaving out. There's three on garnish. Ladies. I'm not leaving. Let's go, Barbie. Barbie's out. No, no way. Barbie's you out. Leave. Fine. I'm out. All you I trust you all. Guys, I'm going. doing the turn I'm not going. Let's go, blue team. You want to go, Van? Go. All right, Van's going. I'm not going to slow the team down by sitting here and arguing. I'm going to jump out. It's no big deal for me. No, no, that's not the right decision, y'all. Come on, send Robin. What? What the f is going on here? You said you want to go to the red team, bro. Van been part of this team since day one. We got a new kid on the block that ain't been with this team for that long. Let's get her out of here and let's keep working as a team. Let's go, baby. Steer that lamb off. Couscous needs a minute, guys. Brace fennel's working. Lamb going in the oven. Root vegetables about to be dropped. What time does that Wellington come out, guys? Red team, blue team, listen up. Decide on one more person leaving the kitchen. Hurry up. Robin, you want to go? What are you working on? Vegetables her. and the leeks. OK, guys, deuces. Wow, that was quick. They told me to go. Dana, I'll watch your pork for you. Y'all, let's keep an eye on Dana's pork. I don't like it. Not a little bit. Dana's leaving. How's the duck, Gio? Skin's looking nice and golden brown. Salmon's here, salmon's here. At least in the convection oven. oven. Put it in the convection oven. Hey, did you glaze that pork? There's only four of us left. Let me get the potatoes. I'm working on five different things, and I have a feeling Chef Ramsay isn't done. Listen up. Time to kick out. One more chef. I'm going to go. Wait, look, come here. I got my house here. Stay. Really, do you want to go? No, I think I, I go. see it, because y'all in go. it already. All right, go. Elise, the meat's already in the oven. Get out. Okay. All right. The chefs in each kitchen are dropping like flies, as every three minutes, Chef Ramsay calls for another one to go. How long in the Wellington? Six minutes. Listen up. Say goodbye to one more chef. I got 90% of my stuff done. It's right here. Go. Amanda, go. Poached egg is almost done. OK. You're working on meats? I'm I'll working check. on meats and fish. Yes, meats okay. and fish. Check the lamb. It's me and Michelle. And this is crazy. I don't know what the hell is going on right now. One more minute. Lamb, well, is he coming together? How's that duck? Is it done? Yeah, the duck's ready. Red team, blue team. Yes, Say chef. goodbye to one more chef. Let's go. Michelle, I'll go. OK. There was no discussing it. Jennifer just basically said, you know what? You're the last woman standing in our kitchen, so I cannot let my team down. Pull out lamb, please. Check the fish. You want to go? You got it? Sure, okay. let's do it. I'm volunteering to stay in the kitchen because this is my chance to show Chef Ramsay that I can handle this giant workload on my own. I'm a competitor. Let's go, Nick. Hey, talk to me. What else do I need to do? Yes. 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 One thing at a time for her. She's only got two hands. I'm not sure that Michelle can handle this by herself. Michelle looks flustered. Check, Check the lamb! Salmon, where right behind it? you. Red team, blue team, listen up. All of you get back in there, let's go. Move, move. 
Now, with all chefs back in the kitchen. What do you want me to do? Guys, I need meat sliced. Each team has only three minutes to race to the finish and complete their dishes. Let's plate that up. Get up to the pass and pray. Woo! Come on. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. I'm looking at the pork chop and I'm really worried. The pork chop is deceiving because it feels like it's cooked even when it's not. Give me the sauce. Oh my God, the pork is raw. Guys, lamb's in the oven needs one minute. I need shrimp, I need shrimp. I'm slicing a duck right now. Five, four, three, two, one, and serve. Before the challenge, I told all of you how important it was to communicate. That was the lesson. No matter what happens, we remain united. Red team, blue team, happy? No, no chef. chef. No, why not? We didn't finish our pork. Where's the pork? Right here, chef. Wow. Pass it down. Oh, dear. We're serving Chef Ramsay pork sushi. Like, that's embarrassing. Who cooked the pork on the red team? In today's Last Chef Standing Challenge, each all-star team worked together to cook six entrees from the Hell's Kitchen menu. I'll be judging your dishes head to head. The better dish from each team will win the round. But the red team's raw pork. Where's the pork? Has them off to a horrific start. Oh, dear. Who cooked the pork on the red team? I started it, and then I passed it on when I was kicked out of the kitchen. Well, the only thing missing on this pork dish is the tail. Right, pork chop, blue team. Mmm. Wow. The winner of this round is definitely the blue team. Good job. Thank, Thank you, Chef. This raw pork is not my fault. I got kicked out of the kitchen. I'm just hoping that everything else is cooked perfectly. Right, next up, beef wellington, please. Pass it down. Thank you. Blue team, let's taste. Delicious. Could have done with two more minutes in the oven. Ladies. Oh, my God. It's tough on that one. That was the hardest protein to cook. So the point goes to the red team and the blue team. Thank, Thank you, Chef. Uh, let's go for the halibut, shall we, please? With the blue team still hanging on to a slim lead, the red is hoping their halibut has the edge. The halibut is delicious. Blue team. Please let their fish be overcooked. The halibut is cooked beautifully. Point goes to... Both teams. Duck breast, let's go. Blue team. That's cooked beautifully. Delicious. Pretty good indeed. Red team. Duck delicious on both dishes. The point goes to the blue team and the red team. If Chef Ramsey want to keep doing, everybody get a point. Both of y'all get a point. But we'll take that, too, because we're in the lead right now. Rack of lamb next. Who cooked the rack of lamb in the red team? I did, Chef. Well, I'm not going to eat that, because you know why. Yeah, it's not done. That thing's got more chance of getting put back in the field than it has of me swallowing it. The question is, is the blue team's lamb good enough? The score is three to four in our favor. And this dish can win it for us. Who cooked this lamb? I did, Chef. It's weird, because I've got bits here that are raw, and I've got bits here that are well done and yet it's from the same rack. You bastardized it. Chef Ramsay has every right to be criticizing this lamb. It's just a mess. The point goes to neither team. With the blue team unable to rack up the winning point, Chef Ramsay calls for the Salmon, please. Pass it down. Thank you. And the red team's only hope is to end in a tie. Uh, blue team. That looks lovely. Crispy skin. Ladies, who cooked the salmon? I did, Chef. Who cooked the shrimp? I did, Chef. Salmon's perfect. 
But the shrimp, when they're curled up like that, what does that mean? They're overcooked, Chef. They are overcooked. Um, the winner of the challenge, clearly. Congratulations, blue team. Thank you, Chef. Nailed. Good job, guys. That's it. The blue team did a much better job of communicating than the red team. The red team is spiraling out of control. Honestly, it's really no surprise that we keep winning dinner service. Blue team, well done. You're in for a great, amazing day. All of you are heading off to a world-class rock climbing gym. Sweet. Relax, Millie, you are in a harness. Yes. <laughs> I've also arranged to have a unique dining experience. You'll be eating at Bourbon Steak at the Americana at Brand. Awesome. Oh. Why are you standing staring at me? Get out of here. Blue team Going coming short. through with the win, baby. Woo! All day, baby. <laughs> All day, baby. <laughs> have fun, Ratchet Reds. Betty. You're in for a miserable day because you're spending all day with Mourinho. It's a grim day. The dining room is long overdue for a deep cleaning. And then get Mourinho's shirts ready ahead of the next service. You know how picky he is. Yeah, he's a pain in the ass. The kitchens also need deep cleaning. They want to make sure they're absolutely spotless. Yes, yes chef. chef. Now get out of here. Let's go. We're going to be in for a long day. You're welcome, Mourinho. Should I make you a sandwich too? I feel like I'm at my grandma's house. Woo woo! Woo woo! I'm getting a window seat. Ain't no way in hell I'm climbing this. I've never been rock climbing, so I look forward to uh, seeing if my old fat ass can climb a rock. The Italian stallion. Hey. All right! <laughs> woo! All right. Grandpa's done. Grandpa's done. It's tiring. I'm too old for this. Let's go, Millie. <laughs> Slipping. Oh! <laughs> no. He has some drawers. Look at him twerking it out. <laughs> I'm not ashamed. I got on the same draw. Well, I'm not showing them off. Look. It's hard climbing rocks. Like, this ain't no joke. So you just do this for fun? Yeah, silly. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. So I have my shoes. I just put it out like this. Okay. Oh! This one is not mine. Yes, they are. <laughs> Marino, what do you do in your spare time? No, no, just the, just the front tip. Oh, I don't know. I'm not a shoe shine expert. I think my shoe looks pretty good. Yeah. Maybe we should line them up. We're going to get scuffed. Barbie, of course, is the know-it-all of shoe shining. So I decide to vacuum, because I don't have to listen to her. Shoe maintenance is really important. I'm about to go eat some steaks! Look at this, guys. Nice. Oh, wow. <laughs> Look at that, huh? Chef Christie's. Hey. 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 We are the chefs here. Good? Chef, nice to see you. Nice. What a great oh, surprise to have both of y'all here I with know. us. We're doing lunch twice as nice today. Look at the presentation. Honestly. Oh, 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 oh Melly's in. <laughs> oh, the food is great. They got this duck spring roll. Wow, look at this. Bill Shank, I mean, tender it. Oh, wow, it's really beautiful. beautiful. Come on, what more can you ask for? Robin, what's it like being the only girl? Um, it's different, but now it's just like, I'm just trying to earn their trust. I'm with them. I think the blue team can mold Robin into what we need her to be. It seems like she's had this change of heart, especially after such, such a high note today for the blue team. But if not, she needs to go. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Oh, gross. That is disgusting. Oh, I don't think it's gonna get really somewhere down those shelves. It doesn't matter, at least she's working, right? Elise just is skating through, just like she does every other punishment. For somebody that's so strong and so great and such a team player, she really doesn't do much. Did all these shelves over here get wiped off? Yeah. All these? You have to finish all of them. We have to move all those pants first. No kidding. Hey, what's that's, with the, that's what common the attitude? Sense. I don't have an attitude, but that's common sense. How can I wipe a shelf with stuff on it? No, <laughs> Sherlock. You're insulting my intelligence. I'm beyond annoyed. And you call me rude. I'm not rude, but. Yeah, you are. That's no, rude. No, I'm not. You're rude. What's with the attitude? You really need to drop it. You said I don't that... have an attitude. You haven't begun to see me get an attitude. She does a lot of this. Michelle talks too much. 
I really don't know, Michelle. Sometimes you are nails on a chalkboard annoying. I don't want to hear that. I'm trying to focus. Okay, at least stop it. After a long afternoon of manual labor for the red team. What's with the attitude? You really need to drop it. You said I don't that have an attitude. You haven't begun to see me get an attitude. Michelle and Elise are at each other's throats. Sometimes you are nails on a chalkboard annoying. I don't want to hear that. I'm trying to focus. OK, Elise, stop it. You know what? Look, I, I don't want to have any hard feelings with you. I'm sorry. Same here. Let's just, let's just yeah, keep playing. Yeah, let's just punishment. keep going. Oh, they look so happy. I love walking into a sourpuss, my favorite. You look good down there, Daner. Shut up, man. <laughs> you look good. <laughs> Whatever. 6.30. This is like the latest that we've done dinner service. I feel like we should be downstairs doing dinner service. This is really weird. I'm freaking out. Phone's ringing. Let's go. Hello, this is Michelle. Michelle, it's Chef here. How are you? I'm good. How are you, Chef? Good. Very well indeed. Um, listen carefully. I need to see you all immediately. Let's go. Yes, Chef. That was Chef Ramsay. Go through the back of the blue kitchen. Oh, it's on. He said hurry. It's about to go up in this piece right now. Come here, guys. Gather around. Come around, guys. Come around. And relax. <laughs> why, why are you so nervous? Because we just know. saw our chef. Because you're what? We just oh. saw her. Uh, there's something important I'd like to show you all. I'd like you all to watch very carefully. Has anybody ever been to my flagship restaurant uh, in Chelsea? No, no chef. chef. This is a signature dish. It's a tagliatelle of oysters with an amazing beurre champagne and finished with Orsetto caviar on top. OK, so it's put together in stages. Chef Ramsay is just casually cooking with some champagne and oysters like it's just another Monday. Ooh! It's a very, very fancy dish. <laughs> he makes it look so easy. So, in here, I've got the most amazing oyster juice with what? Champagne. Champagne. Cucumber up to the boil. Oysters, third time on, drain them off. Otherwise, cucumber overcooks very quickly. What happens to it? It's mushy. It's mushy. Now, from there, touch of the verb long in there. That's seasoned with? Chives. Next, tag the telly. So, Van, how do we get that in the shell? Uh, I would say the fork. You're absolutely right, young man. The pasta is the base, yes? Yes, yes chef. Thread, lift up and twist. Twist, and in she goes. Now, that sits up there, nice and tight. Now, oysters, and you'll see the aesthetics of the dish coming together. From there, take your beurre blanc. Finish that. Whenever Chef Ramsay is making a dish, you better damn well pay attention. Then the caviar, you go on. As he's showing us, I'm trying to like soak it all in, following each step. And then tiny ploosh, just on top. I wish I had a photographic memory right now. That would make my life a whole lot easier. Tag the telly voices. Are you watching carefully? Yes, yes chef. chef. Now all of you, line up, quick. I'm starting to feel the pressure because I'm like, OK, I'm going to have to recreate this dish. I know it. Listen carefully. At this point, I've got to concentrate on those chefs who are operating at the highest level. So tonight, I'm trimming the fat. Half of you will be competing in a very special challenge. And the chef who is least successful recreating my signature dish will be leaving Hell's Kitchen tonight. Oh, my god. I kind of feel like I'm going to my pants. Michelle and Nick. Yes, chef. In our last challenge, you two were the last remaining chefs in each of your kitchens. With that in mind, I've decided that you will choose which half of your team will be safe and which half will cook for their lives. I'm obviously happy that I don't have to risk my fate in this competition, but I don't want to have that sort of animosity on my team. It's, it sucks. Nick, I need one name of one of the weakest chefs on the blue team. Robin, chef. 
Robin, why? Uh, Robin struggled a little bit, and I think this is her, her time to shine. Michelle, one name, please. Barbie, chef. Barbie? Yes, yeah, chef. First pick in the red team. Why? I'm always first pick. I'm going to be the last one standing. Nick, second name and why, please? I'm going to go with Geo, chef. Geo? Why? Sometimes he can get a little frazzled and overwhelmed. I don't think I'm one of the weakest chefs here, and I don't know why he picked me. I just got to prove him wrong. Michelle, second name and why, please? Manda, chef. Manda? I never back down from a challenge, and I'm a feisty little fighter. If I'm gonna have to cook for my life, bring it on. All this is gonna do is make me stronger. Nick, third and final individual from the blue team. I'm gonna go with Millie, chef. Millie? Yep. Why? Uh, I'd like to see Millie kind of step it up a little bit and see if he can finesse well with this dish. Like, come on, Nick. I thought you'd been paying attention a little bit more. You ain't seen all the I've been putting down, bro? Michelle, third and final person on the red team. Michelle? In tonight's daunting Cook for Your Life challenge, the chef who is least successful recreating my signature dish will be leaving House Kitchen tonight. Chef Ramsay has asked the two chefs from the Last Chef Standing challenge, Nick and Michelle, to decide who were the three weakest members on their team. Nick, you chose Robin, Millie, and Gio as your weakest three. Yes, Chef. Michelle, you chose Barbie and Manda as your weakest third and final person on the red team. Elise, Chef. Elise? Yes, Chef. Why? Uh, she's not necessarily a team player, and I think that she needs to step it up a notch. OK, it's game on. I came here. I tried to be nice to people. I'm not playing nice no more. She better hope I go home tonight. You six remaining chefs that are safe, head to the patio and wait to see who will join you. Get out of here. You got this. Yeah. Good luck. Thank you. Good luck. I'll see you later. Good luck. See you later. Good luck. Dana or Jennifer should be cooking for their life. Definitely not me. But I knew Michelle would name me because I'm a threat to her. I'm not going home tonight. Sorry. You're all going to have 30 minutes to replicate my dish. And your time starts now. Let's go. In the Cook for Your Life challenge, the six chefs who were selected now have one chance to recreate Chef Ramsay's oyster tagliatelle appetizer in just 30 minutes. Come on, ladies. You can do this. And the chef with the least successful dish will be going home. Don't shake that champagne. Yeah, chef, doing a dish that I just saw one time. I've got 30 minutes to cook for my life. Crazy. Like, this is crazy. You could cut the intensity with a knife. This is everybody for themselves right now. Sorry, ladies. I'm staying. Somebody else is going home, not me. I didn't come here to go home, and I plan on winning this thing, and I plan on beating whoever's in front of me. I'm coming out of this thing alive. Just over five minutes gone, 25 minutes remaining. 25 minutes remaining, chef. Why does Nick put me in this pool with these little guppies? I felt bad because I'm comfortable with It's a Berblanc. Berblanc is the first sauce I ever made in my life. It's pasta and oysters, something that I love to eat, and champagne, something you catch me with in the club every night. You guys okay? Yeah. Okay. You okay? Yeah. I used to be the sous chef of a fish restaurant, and we shucked oysters every night. I shucked the out of some oysters. And I'm fine with this challenge, because cooking for my life gets to show Chef Ramsay that I came here to cook for my life. Start turning. Start turning. I also got to make pasta. Let me show you how it's done. Not too much tagliatelle in there. Don't go crazy with the pasta. Don't go crazy with the pasta. No. Focus on this, Robert. Focus on this. This is it. Do or die time. Attention to detail. One, two, three, four. My life. One mountain, two mountain, three mountain, four mountain. I'm realizing that 
my nerves, my anxiety is getting to me. Like, my hands cannot stop shaking right now. My hands are so slimy right now. I'm having a lot of trouble with these oysters, so I keep on talking to myself and just pepping myself up, saying, come on, Robin, you could get through this. You could do this. <sighs> How many do you need? Only six, man. I'm just making sure for insurance purposes. OK, come on, come on. This is a challenge where you could make one mistake and get sent home. Your heart is racing. On top of that, your nerves. It's a lot. <gasps> you OK, Elise? Yes. OK. 90 seconds remaining. Oh, 90 wow. seconds. 55 seconds to go. 55. My life. 20 seconds oh remaining. Oh, my God. Come on, ladies, please. 10. Come on. Nine. Come on, Amanda, you got this. Eight, Come on, Elise. Seven. Come on, Elise, you got this. Six. Come on. Five. Come on. Four. You got this. Three. Two. One. That is it. Elise to the window, please. Let's yes, go. Yes, chef. Whew. All of you, well done. Well done. You guys, who do you think's gonna walk through the door first? I don't know. Millie. I don't want Amanda to go. It needs to be Barbie or Elise. It's not gonna be Elise. So what happens when Elise comes back? If you thought Elise didn't like you before, just Oh, God. Now that you've all cooked for your life, it's time to find out who's staying and who's leaving. Elise, you okay? You got yourself? What's wrong? Nothing, Chef. Well, clearly something's wrong. I don't think I deserve to be up here. The key word was the three weakest chefs. That's what this is, do or die. OK. Amanda, please grab your dish. Come on up. Very carefully. Yes, Chef. This is the most important dish I have ever made in my entire life. It's all in Chef Ramsay's hands. So, describe your dish, please. I did uh, shallots, peppercorns, and champagne. Cook that down to sec. Hit it with a bunch of butter, just really slow. The sauce is good. Thank you, chef. Listen, it's a strong effort. I'll be a little bit more generous on the sauce. You got sauce beauty done there, no sauce there. But we'll find out how you did in a minute. Thank okay. you. Thank you, chef. Take a dish back. Thank you. Strong effort. Very strong. Next up, Millie. Let's go. I'm about to put down the perfect recreation of Chef Ramsay's dish. Watch what's about to happen. <sighs> Visually. Beautiful. Got the ratio of the pasta absolutely spot on. How long did you poach the oysters for? Just put the uh, uh, champagne up to warm, put it off the stove, set it to the side. That's beautiful. I mean, really beautiful. Beautifully done. What's missing, Millie? Um, I think I forgot the um, peppercorns in my berlang shot. Mm -hmm. What's missing, Millie? What's missing, Millie? I can't remember, so. Oh. How many oysters did I make? How many did you make? You made six. Oh. In this nerve-wracking Cook for Your Life challenge. The ratio of the pasta, absolutely spot on. Chef Ramsay is impressed with Millie's recreation of his oyster tagliatelle dish. That's beautiful. I mean, really beautiful. Except for one rather important detail. What's missing, Millie? How many oysters did I make? How many did you make? You made six. Oh. Did I forget to put this oyster on there? I should be embarrassed. I made one mistake. Everything else is flawless. Question for me, is your dish better than Amanda's? It's better than Amanda's. You're safe. Thank you, Chef. Head to the patio. See ya. Millie! <laughs> yes, please. Yay! Perfect. Uh, I love it. The only thing I f***ed up on, I only made five spaces for myself. So it wasn't perfect. Perfect! Next up. Bobby. 
I'm really confident about my dish. I don't know who's going home, but um, it's not me. Visually, what do you think? I think that one has a little, a lot of pasta. Why so much pasta? That's one of the things I struggled with, Chef. Beurre blanc, delicious. Cucumber, still crunchy. Take it back, please. I have to decide between you and Manda. Yes, Chef. Manda. Yes, Chef. I'm sorry to say, you, young lady, are putting up with me for a lot longer. Head to the patio. Thank you, Chef. Holy <laughs> I'm safe, thank God! Get me out of this kitchen, get me out of this dining room. I want to go see my team now. Would a look like me? Walk in the kitchen? Y'all better say party food for a second. Why? I'm so glad you're here. I'm not going anywhere, you son of a bitch. In other news, Elise is crying. <laughs> Next up, Robin, please. Let's go. I got this. I know Chef Ramsay's gonna love my dish. Here you go, Chef. I'm hoping that he thinks his dish is perfect. You seem to struggle opening the oysters. What happened? I had a problem opening three of them. Yeah. I cut you there. Sorry, Chef. What happened there? I guess I stabbed it too hard. I yeah. didn't realize I cut it. That looks gashed. Have you opened oysters before? Yeah, Chef. Four good, too bad. Thank Back you, in chef. line. Yeah, Chef. Don't two damn oysters! Oh my God. So it's between Barbie and Robin. Yes, Chef. Robin. Yes, Chef. You're gonna have to beat Elise or Dio. Barbie, head to the patio. Yes, Chef. You're safe. I survived the night, but Michelle is probably freaking out because if Elise comes through these doors, She's gonna be mad as hell. Hey! Hey! <laughs> Was Elise still crying? Yeah. Elise, let's go. I'm upset because I'm not the weakest member of the team. I've been nice, I've been nothing but a team player since I've been here. I don't deserve to go home tonight. Visually, it was beautiful. How long did you poach the oysters for? Very briefly. I just put them in the champagne, warmed it up, and pulled it off and let it poach on the side. Why stick the shell so far into the salt? I was getting it to stand up, Chef. I'm sorry. What happens to that salt? It gets inside. What do oysters taste of? Salt. What does caviar taste salt. of? Salt. <sighs> Back in line. What was that, Chef? You just got a mouthful of salt because Elise put her shells too far in the salt? Elise, it's too bad that you had the extra salt. You submerged them a little bit too deep. OK, between Robin and Elise. <sighs> Elise, your dish is better than Robin's. Thank Head you, Chef. Head to the patio. Thank you, you Chef. You are safe. I'm extremely excited that I'm safe and I'm ready to go rub it in Michelle's face. Definitely not letting Michelle get off easy. Now, I'm not being nice anymore. Woo! It's on. Oh. oh you God. opened the can of worms. It's on now, baby. Just know. Just know. It's on. Just the beginning. It's a competition. It's, it's really on. It's really on. It's really on now. In today's Cook for Your Life challenge, at least your dish is better than Robin's. Thank you, Chef. The Thank Elise you, Chef. was declared safe by Chef Ramsay. Woo! It's on. And she is enjoying a little chat with the chef who put her on the chopping block. It's on now, baby. Just know. You know Just know. Okay, so it's been on Just since the know. beginning. It's a competition. It's, well, it's really on. It's, it's on. really on. It's, it's on. really on now. That's and I will relaxed. continue. Thank Guess you. who's Bazak? You thought it was gonna be that easy? Why is this okay. happening? It's I don't know. Get used to this face. Your crying face? With Elise clearly declaring war on Michelle. Back in the dining room, there are only two chefs remaining. Gio, let's go. And Giovanni is hoping his dish will keep him from going home. I'm not ready to go home. I don't want to go home. And uh, you want to make his decision as hard as possible, and we'll see what he'll we'll see what he does. The presentation 
And this one. It's beautiful. <laughs> What's missing in there? What's missing in there? Sauce. A little light on the sauce. What's missing in there? Light on the sauce, chef. What's missing in there? Light on the sauce, chef. What happened? I put the sauce on it. I, I just didn't put enough. Why so much pasta? I don't know, chef. I was trying to twirl it and I guess in the middle of panicking. There's one thing I've welcomed in this competition is your composure. I don't expect the word panic coming from you. Back in line, please. Yes, chef. Oh, man. Sadly, one of you is going home, and the dream ends tonight. Gio, you had too much pasta. Probably you struggled opening the oysters. Yes, chef. My decision is... Robin. Head to the patio. Holy <laughs> Thank you, chef. Oh. I'm glad you came back. Thank you. Look after that family. I will. Check off, please. It just wasn't your night, Gio. Thank you. Take care, Goodbye. chef. Take care, bud. Chef made his decision, that's final. I mean, maybe at my age and my experience, I should have done a better job, but I'm holding my head up high, and uh, I'm going home, and I get hugged by two beautiful kids. None to be ashamed of. It's an opportunity of a lifetime. So yeah, I'm glad I came back. Glad I gave it a shot. Came up short. I feel like I'm the underdog. Wah, 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 and finally breaking through my shell. That's how you do that. Who's weak? Who's weak? I'm the strongest on the team, and they know it. Michelle knows it, but she must have not watched season nine. Let the games begin. I'm coming for you. So you better bring all that every I'm day. I'm ready. Ding dong, the witch is alive. I wouldn't want to be Michelle right now. Wait, wait, wait. That means Gio's gone. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Giovanni may have age and experience, but his attention to detail in this critical challenge was a big disappointment. Out of a duchy, Giovanni. Next time on Hell's Kitchen. This is the new Elise. Elise is on the warpath. It's no more playing nice now. I don't trust y'all. And when the red team has an intervention. Yeah, we just wanted to be on the same page. Yikes. Will it send her over the edge? Elise, does this look all right? I don't care how your ponytail look, now it's on. Can any of her teammates stop her? I thought we were friends. There's no friendship here. Or Chef Christina. You settled down today? Get the <laughs> Or Chef Ramsay. Elise, there's been a massive meltdown. Find out next time. Oh. Not sorry. On a primal episode oh. of Hell's Kitchen All-Stars. <laughs>